I want to pull up this story because this is a juicy one. Mm. It's a, a little off subject, but I saw someone super chatted it and I want to get it up. Just the News says Arizona judge approves Carrie Lake's request to examine ballots. The inspection is slated to begin at 8 a.m. next Tuesday. This really surprised wow. me. It really surprised me. Judge Peter Thompson on Thursday issued the ruling which allows the inspection of random ballots in the, in the county ahead of the trial date. The Republican had previously filed a request to do so, and Arizona law provides for a candidate challenging election results to demand ballot inspections to prepare. So uh, Thompson granted three of Lake's four demands, allowing the inspection of 50 random ballot on demand printed ballots, 50 random early ballots and 50 random BOD ballots marked spoiled. The judge denied her bid to inspect 50 random early ballot envelopes, which is weird. But either way, this is huge. This is Carrie Lake's election contest moving forward to an evidentiary point. Now, there is in the ruling that if the if the, if, if, the, if the case is dismissed, then this is vacated, basically. But uh, with Trump in 2020, all almost all of the court cases that they had were dismissed on standing. You can't do that here. Arizona law prescribes for this kind of action. So I don't know exactly what they're going to find, but there's already witness testimony coming out, you know, uh, uh, as as evidence. And with Carrie Lake being granted the ability to inspect these random ballots, what she wants to do is 50 ballots from each different place. So this may actually be 50 random, 50, uh, 50 random ballot on demand, 50 random BOD, 50 early. And it could be at like every different place in Maricopa County. So. Mm -hmm. I guess my, my, my question is, I wonder what ultimately will come from this. And I don't really know what else to say from it, uh, say about it other than I think this is, this is massive. Still could potentially result in nothing if Carrie Lake is wrong about everything. But what do you think happens? Just hypothetically, you know, they've already certified, Katie Hobbs has certified her own election for, in favor of herself for winning. But what happens then to, to YouTube's rules? What happens to Twitter's misinformation rules? If next week on the 20th, they do the, the random inspection and find like a 17% inaccuracy or something. Some people have already pointed out, there was one post that a 3% margin of error is greater than the margin of victory. That means if they do these random samplings and find a very small sample of, of bad counts, something, then what happens? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know where to go with this one. I'm just yeah. like, it's big. I mean, it depends on, like, Arizona's law, right? If it's a big enough... Well, it depends on the judge, really. Right, and if it's a random sampling. Like, if, if enough of them are messed up, at some point, like, we need to study a bigger a sampling bigger slash maybe all of them. I mean, this well, exactly. is a thing that could take a really long time to get clarification on. And at a certain point, like, I hope that Carrie Lake has enough backers willing to, you know, oh, yeah. donate to her legal fund because yeah. this is going to be an ongoing fight for a long time.